morning all it's Lee with the beautiful Lee.com thanks for watching this video and if you're watching on YouTube thanks for joining the channel and I hope you enjoy my content um, make sure you like and share and if on YouTube subscribe um, for more great content I hope it's great content for you guys what I wanted to talk to you all about this morning was two little words really I mean really just two little words total of six letters in one space and um, the words are what if and what ifs make such a difference in our lives a lot of times we are guided by what ifs or deterred by what ifs because you know there's always this ooh, what if I fail yeah well we'll get into that in a minute but there's also the converse side of that is, what if you succeed? So I think a lot of times we look at it and we're scared and, you know, we're not sure whether this is right or this is right, but, you know, what if this doesn't work? What if I'm not making the right choice? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if tomorrow the world blows up? I mean, really? What if tomorrow the world blows up? Is that going to rule your life? Because it really shouldn't. Because you should really be looking at, okay, what if I learn? What if I succeed? What if I get a step closer to my goal? What if a lot of positives? And I think we get scared. And a lot of times it's safer to say, oh, let's look at the what if something bad happens where we really, really, really should be looking at the what if something great happens. And that is something that, for whatever reason, it's easier, it's safer, we're preconditioned, because a lot of times I believe that, you know, we listen too much to everybody else. And a friend of mine, I was on her webinar, my friend Boomi, um, Bumi Ajabad, make sure you follow her, love her. She is an amazing woman. Um, I was on one of her webinars that she had done from Africa, and I apologize. It is now 8.30, and my Alexa is chiming away to make sure I know it's 8.30. Joy. So rather than scream at her while I'm on camera with you, I'm just going to ignore her in the background, so I hope you do too. Um, but she said, and this I wrote down, because whenever I'm on any conference calls with her or anything, I always take notes. And, and I have a place to write down things that spark my mind, for lack of a better term. Whenever I'm watching like motivational videos, I do watch them. Um, whenever I see something or I'll hear a quote or what have you. And I also have like post-its up on the side of my office. And it's just... They're things that, you know, you look over at and, oh yeah, make sure you don't forget that. And a lot of times when you're on calls, it's really good to have things up there because, boy, yeah. So, um, one of the things that, um, I don't know whether it was, whether she said it or Francine said it, but, um, it was said, and I love this, that you are the average of the five people that you hang out with most. And... I think that we have to start being a lot more um, picky about who we hang out with and not, you know, cut people off completely or anything, but, you know, look at it and do you really want to be a better you? Well, you maybe, you know, we have negative Nancy, who's our friend and I have a really good friend named Nancy and she's not negative. So, um, you know, we'll call her negative Nellie. I don't know any Nellies. <laughs> um, so we've got like negative Nellie and pessimist Pam and, and, you know, um, terrible Terry and you've got all these people and maybe stubborn Steve and because men are just the same way women are. So, um, you know, or the guy who's always like, you know, the jerky Jack and we have these people in our lives and are those the five people that I really want to be an average of? Well, absolutely not. So those people are saying, oh, what if you fail? What if this happens? You know, what if an asteroid falls from space and crashes on your house? You shouldn't buy a house. What if 
you know, oh, you live in Florida. Oh, what if there's a hurricane that destroys everything? You shouldn't, you shouldn't have anything in Florida. No, you should barely have a car. Yeah, just, you know. So if we listen to all those negatives and those what ifs and those, those people who are just like, they enjoy their trauma and drama and they enjoy their miserableness and you know if we're hanging out with them we're going to be sucked into that and our what if is going to become their what if so we need to not only in our mind say what if something good occurs we need to also say okay who are the people who are going to make me be what if bad and the ones that are going to be what if good and learn to spend the time with those that are what if good because those are the ones that are going to just by being around them, make you feel better, make you feel happier. Like my friend Boomy, every time I talk to this woman, I just feel like so much better. My friend Chandra, another person who every time I see her, she is just, she makes me feel better. And Chandra's an amazing woman and she founded the Florida Resource Center for Women and Children. Guys, you know, October's Domestic Violence Month. I don't know why we have a celebration of it, but we shouldn't have one month that we're aware of it. And, you know, so if you have definitely a great cause to support and um, the awareness, not the domestic violence. But these are people who, when I am around them, they lift me up. And those are the people that I like to make sure I'm in contact with or follow or it just sometimes it just makes me feel good knowing that they're there and sometimes I hear them in my head going okay well what if this though you know what if it's not bad you know we hang up with the oh what if it's bad but what if it's good so today I just encourage y'all to be a little cognizant of your thoughts and I'm going to do the same thing. I think my thoughts and my just attitude and everything has gotten a lot different since I've been doing these, these morning chats with you guys and I appreciate you guys for that and, and I hope that you're getting something out of it and um, just always instead of thinking what if bad, what if good. You know, what if good just feels so much better to say it, you know, say it like, oh, what if bad? But what if good? I mean, your eyes even go up. Did you all see that? My eyes went, woo. So definitely, definitely, definitely think about the positives. Don't think about the negatives. And, you know, what if tomorrow comes, you know, we, we talk about, oh, what if tomorrow never comes? Well, what if it does? Make it the best tomorrow ever because you thought positive about it today. So that's my what if thoughts. Um, again, thank you all for listening. I really appreciate you guys. You mean a lot to me. And um, I will chat with you all tomorrow, hopefully without the beep beep in the background and the dogs. But, you know, they have things to say too. So I will talk to you all later. Have a fabulous, fabulous Tuesday. And see you later. Bye. Oh,